What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a good afternoon. Jake's trying to walk away with his portable water. I got another watch review. Original, I met a, I'm um, sorry, I'm, I forgot your name, and uh, a waiter in uh, Red Lobster this afternoon. He had a watch. It looked like a chronograph, but it wasn't really a chronograph. It's just similar dial on the bottom. It's very hot out right now. And uh, it's, it's the original grain watch. Very interesting. I've seen them before. Original grain watches. I'm sorry if I forgot your name. He's a very good way to nice guy in a Red Lobster. And I noticed the watch. And he said, yeah, it's original grain. Basically, he found it like I've, I found it, you know, just you're on uh, social media or whatever. It pops up. <clears throat> very nice watch. I might look into getting one myself one day, hopefully, if I can get over these bills. But in the meantime, um, I'll do these Armatron watches. I'm sorry if I forgot your name, but I hope you have a great weekend to the guy. And uh, Original Grain is the watches. You can look them up. They're made out of all wood, recycled wood. Um, there's a story to them if you look them up. But anyway... <clears throat> Um, I'm here with Jake. So, Oh, also someone said, have the windows down. I leave early in the morning, and I leave the windows down. If I go in the store, I'll lock my car, have the air conditioner on prior so the car's cool, so I'm very aware, you know, you don't mess around with a uh, dog in the summer. I traveled all the time with my other dog, and I know I know how, you know, how, how to deal with a dog in the summer. You don't. You know, I'm only in there for a short time, and either the air conditioner's on with the car locked or the window's down, and it's a cool breeze. So I know it's very dangerous in the summer, so I know that. So whoever said that, I'm very well aware of the danger of heat. And uh, actually, it's easier to travel with a dog in the winter because they the dogs don't get as cold in a nice closed-in car when you have the heat on. But in the summer, they could get very ill and sick from the heat. I know that. But I'm well aware, and I make sure, taking all precautions, that he's not overheated. Anyway, I'm here with Jake, hanging out at the guest house. He's chilling out. He just had some cold water. Um, okay, I got this watch from my good friend. And this is an older model, and this is the cousin that I was looking for. This is the cousin of this watch. It basically has the same features. Um, it has, I'm going to run through it. It has a, first of all, it has a rotating bezel. These are older models. Then they're, they're not really that around as much as they used to. You could probably track them down on Amazon or, or uh, you know, I got lucky in Walmart. I found it, but uh, this one happens to have a rotating bezel. Bezel. And you could, you know, you could mess around with that if you know what you're doing and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't like a lot of numbers around my watches, like I usually say, but these are so unobtrusive numbers that it don't bother me. It just don't bother me. And the cool thing about this watch is a lot of features. It comes with the day of the week, of course, the month, your time. It has a great backlight. I don't know if you can see it in here. It's like a nice green. This one has one too. It's hard to see when it's not dark, dark enough to show you, but it lights up nice. But this is a negative display. Most of my watches aren't, but I, I'm, I'm digging them lately. The negative displays are nice. It says on the band, water resistance, 330 feet, which equals to uh, 100 meters, which you don't have to worry about it. He's having a good time on the floor there. And uh, these are cousins. These are... Uh, cousins, they're pro sport line. Um, this one I did the other day, so I'll focus a lot on this one. This this negative display is fantastic. Now, I would have preferred this model. It's not easy to get anymore. You could get them, like I said, but you're going to have to hunt them down. Now, this model uh, comes with a positive display with orange. Orange is my type of red that I like. And a really cool looking watch, but you know what? If I could get it even in a, po a negative display, I like the model so much that 
you know, I couldn't pass it up. It's a Pro Sport. I don't know if I have my magnifier. I don't know what model it is. I mean, you could screenshot it. You could screen shoot it and uh, try to look up the model. It'll just say probably uh, Pro Sport Chronograph, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll try to get a look at it if I can with this pen, but I doubt it's going to help me too much. Um, let me see what it says. Uh, it just says Pro Sport. Water resistant. 8254. I don't know if that's the battery. Stainless steel back. And I think the battery. Anyway, anyway, it's if you find it in the store, this Armatron is worth checking out. It really, um, it really is a good uh, watch. It's negative, but it's very legible. You can see it. I got to put the light up, but that's how it's going to look in the daytime. And at night, you have the light. And the light works good. And why these are cousins, these two watches, because they both have the same features. And I kind of knew that going into it. It has stopwatch, timer, alarms, probably four or five. And it still t t tells you the time down there. That's another thing I forgot when I was reviewing the other one. It still sells the time. Uh, second time zone, you could set... Uh, second time zone on it, which that watch has the same thing. And that watch has a ball over here. Looks like a football. This has like a, a checkerboard type thing with a little city going on there or whatever. Something like that. You know, it's just eye candy when the, when you change the timer or stopwatch. Anyway, then it has this feature. PR, uh, pace, uh, pace uh, setter. It's for a runner, and then you tap the, up here, and you could change it to 80, 120, okay, 240, 320, 10, 20, and so on, 40, and then back to, I guess, uh, the home would be uh, 60. Uh, so, yeah, you could set that, and that'll, that'll be every couple seconds or whatever. It's, I, don't, I don't even know how to really use it, but it's a same feature on that watch. That's why they're cousins. But I just think it's a cool watch. It has like a checkerboard kind of city thing going on there. A little like, looks like a city sometimes, square. But that'll, that'll this function will set off when, uh, when uh, you got the timer on or a stopwatch. It's, it's just eye candy, really. But it's a great watch, rotating bezel. You don't have to baby it. Comes with a nice band. Says Armatron on the top, and it says on the bottom part, 330 feet, which will equal 100 meters, which is nothing that you have to worry about if you're swimming. But it's a great watch. I just wanted to show it has a rotating bezel, which is co cool. And. Uh, you know, you could set that if you know, like, how to use a rotating bezel. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure how to use it. But anyway, I'm lucky I know how to use the basic features, believe it or not. But uh, I'm, I learned a lot with the watches over the last couple of years. And a lot of times these watches come preset. So that's a good thing because uh, it says Friday 6th. Yeah, it's Jake. It says uh, the day and the date. Jake, what are you doing? The day and the date. And uh, sometimes if you hit over here, oh, that's military time. That'll set to military time. That's the modes. And uh, I got the hourly signal on. That would be just the bell. And, uh, yeah, some of them say the month, the year. But this one, when you, uh, when you uh, press the re uh, to reset, um, the time and the day, it'll go like the year 23. But it wouldn't be in the wrong year if today was – if it didn't say Friday 6-2, it would be in the wrong year. But it's in, actually in the right year because I set the watch before. Anyway, I thought you'd like to see it, everyone. It's the cousin of that model, this model, Sanchez, that you say you like and you have. So now I got this one. I'm going to keep my eye out for the um, – this model in uh, positive with the orange, that would be my goal to get that one, actually. 
actually, if I had that, I would, I would change it for that. But you know what? I, I don't have enough negative displays, and I think this is a very nice negative display. Very legible and uh, <clears throat> nice features. And these watches, in another year or so, you, it's going to be even that much harder to get them. I mean, not impossible, but, you know, you'd probably find them on eBay. But they uh, these are older models, just like the Nicolas Cage one. Nicolas Cage one's older than this, actually. But anyway, I'm out of here. Jake's here having fun. I'm out of here. I hope everyone has a great weekend. It's Friday. A peaceful and great weekend. I hope the weekend uh, is peaceful for everyone. And I'm out of here. Check your local Walmarts because some of these older Armatrons are worth looking at. Timex, you know, Casios, they're worth looking at. And, you know, a decent watch that you could have and uh, enjoy. Anyway, peace out, everyone. Have a great weekend.